In her latest film, It Ends With Us, Blake lively disclosed the producing choice she was, begged, not to make. The 37-year-old actress, who plays Lily Bloom, a florist whose marriage to Rao Kincaid, Justin Baldoni, turns from passionate to abusive, is adapted from Colleen Hoover's 2016 romance novel. When her former partner Atlas, Brandon Sklenner, shows around, her life gets even more complicated as her long-simmering love for him is rekindled. Blake is not only a co-star and producer in the film, but she is also said to have had a falling out with Justin, the director and co-star. Even though some thought it was improper, Blake insisted on incorporating the Lana Del Rey song Cherry at a certain moment in the narrative. Lana describes a man in the song as someone who makes her fall to pieces and experiences real love, which she compares to smiling when the firing squad is against you. They pleaded with me to remove that film and song from the film. Blake revealed in a recent interview promoting the film. She clarified that they felt like it was, like, too charged and hard and things are still nice with Ryle at that moment so you don't want to feel that charge, even though she did not identify the individuals who were against the music selection. Blake countered, saying, F asterisk asterisk asterisk, things are charged and weighty the moment Atlas enters. Similar to how there is tension, anguish, turbulence, and strife. Oh my god, my soulmate the one that got away in my life, this person who's haunting me in everything I do and everywhere I go, is here now and we still had that connection, Lily thought to Blake at that moment, she stated. And even though you might be incredibly in love with someone, when they enter your life, you know that something bad is going to happen to your insides. She continued, her comment coincided with reports from sources that Justin was chauvinistic and borderline violent on the set of It Ends With Us. His failure to consider Blake's character's point of view during the production of sequences that showed abuse infuriated fans. For weeks, rumors of conflict between 40-year-old Justin and 40-year-old Blake have been circulating. Internet detectives have drawn attention to the fact that the on-screen couple was not photographed together at the U.S. premiere, and several cast members have openly sidestepped inquiries concerning the director. The troubling reality about the tensions has now been made public by insiders who claimed that Blake and Justin got into a fight over his dismissive attitude toward her input during the filming of scenes involving abuse. Today's film, which opens in theaters, centers on Blake's Lily Bloom, a floral designer who develops feelings for Justin's character, neurosurgeon Ryle Kincaid. However, their relationship quickly devolves into an unhealthy one. The insider said that Justin took a very chauvinistic, stance toward the subject and restricted his attention to what he believed to be the abusive male viewpoint. Jonathan only focused on what he perceived to be the abusive male viewpoint during scenes depicting abuse, failing to take Blake's character's perspective into consideration. They stated, his chauvinistic approach created a tense atmosphere on set. The insider stated that Justin almost became the character and that he was borderline abusive on set. Some women on set felt that Justin was being borderline abusive to them, and that he lacked professionalism and remorse. They stated, nearly turning him into the character. It is unsettling to direct a film about domestic abuse that is so serious and significant without including the women in the process. According to the insider, the actor, who was also the producer and director, failed to recognize Colleen's and Blake's positions as fellow writers and producers. Additionally, they claimed that when the two asked for certain script rewrites, he took it. Very personally, they noted that. None of this would have been possible without Colleen's book. Colleen forced some scenes in the movie to be redone because they had to be. Even though it wasn't their intention, he took their script decisions quite personally. They added that after he started to feel that the women on set were ganging up on him things only got worse. The source went on. His behavior extended beyond the main players. He lost even more empathy once he felt like he was being singled out. He's praising them now, perhaps scared that they'll call him out. Knowing it's coming, he may attempt to justify his behavior by calling himself a method actor. Justin discussed the challenges of depicting a domestic abuse relationship on TV with CBS Mornings earlier this week, although he acknowledged that, as a man, he had his own biases. Toward the subject, he asserted that he made sure the film had a female gaze. I will always bring my own biases because I am a man, he remarked. That's one of the reasons I was scared to even direct this movie, 
let alone star in it. I never wanted to put myself in this movie. I wanted to make sure it always had a female gaze. Sensing tension between the stars in the weeks before the much-awaited film's premiere, social media followers have been frantically attempting to piece together what transpired between them. Despite being the film's two leads and romantic interests, Blake and Justin did not pose for any photos together at the New York premiere this week. She gladly posed for pictures with Jenny Slate and Brandon Sklenner, her fellow co-stars, but not with Justin, who was accompanied by Emily Baldoni, his wife of 11 years. Two days later Blake and a few of the other stars attended a photo call for the movie in London, but Justin was strangely missing. Furthermore, in the weeks preceding the movie's premiere, the two haven't done any press together. Rather, last month, Blake had an interview with her co-star, Brandon. She and Brandon also took part in a promotional film including Isabella Ferrer and Alex Nusteter from It Ends With Us, but Justin was not present. Astute social media observers also observed that Blake and writer Colleen had lately unfollowed Justin on Instagram. The actress Jenny absolutely sidestepped a question regarding Justin on the red carpet at the Tuesday night premiere, adding to the suspicions. A reporter questioned the celebrity. What was it like having, Justin, be a director but also a scene partner? In an interview that aired yesterday morning, Justin seemed to dismiss the feud allegations by gushing about Blake in front of the camera. He had nothing but kind things to say when asked about working with the former gossip girl. I'm not sure if you realize how intelligent and imaginative she truly is, he remarked. She's a fashion icon and an actress, of course, but she's so much more than that. She is a dynamic creative. She touched every aspect of this production and improved everything that she touched. Blake recently revealed that her husband, 44-year-old Ryan Reynolds, authored a scene for the Colleen adaptation. Deadpool and Wolverine, which opens this weekend, will compete with It Ends With Us at the box office. My spouse wrote the famous rooftop scene, she remarked. All of us except you now know that. We support one another. He works on everything that I work on, and vice versa. Thus, his victories and his joys are both mine and his.